If you've forgotten the PIN or password for the secure folder on your Samsung phone, now I will guide you on how to reset it. Now there are two methods on how to do it. The first one is very safe and you're not going to lose any data on your secure folder. Now let's start with the first method. What you need to do, just enter the passcode or PIN that you remember. After entering the wrong PIN, it will tell you forgot PIN. Now, once you see the forgot PIN here, just select on the forgot PIN. Now it will open this, which tells you reset PIN. Now also on the reset pin page here, what you need to do, just select reset. And after selecting reset, it will take you to your Samsung account where you need to log in on your Samsung account in order to reset your secure folder. As you see it here on this page here. So you just need to log in and enter your Samsung account password. And after logging to your Samsung account password, it will tell you now to enter a new pin in order to recover your secure folder. And after that, you will do so and you will be able to recover your secure folder. So it's very easy. What you need to do just enter the pin that you remember for your secure folder it will tell you forgot pin now select forgot pin then reset pin it will take you to your samsung account and then enter the password of your samsung account to recover your secure folder now maybe if you have used this method or maybe you don't have a samsung account now there is another method that i'm going to show you here but this method will lose data on your samsung folder so if you don't mind now just watch this method. Another method you can use is by clearing data on your secure folder, but this will lose data for your secure folder and you lose access to all the images and videos that you have saved. So go to settings, then select apps, then look for the secure folder. So here the secure folder, go to storage, then clear data. After clearing data, then the secure folder will reset to a new one then you can open and use it as normal but this will delete all the files on your folder